in three words, if I had to talk about Brafa, I would say quality, high quality. Uh, I would say conviviality. And I would say surprise, because it's always different. I'm sure there are a lot of young art collectors who visit Brafa, and they wonder how they, they should start. Uh, well, I would say the first thing before you buy is to open your eyes to see as much as you can of that specific thing you want to, to buy. Uh, looking around, listening to explanations, going to more shops or more uh, gallerists who do that same speciality, see what they have to tell about it. And then in the end, well, it is your intuition, it is your, your heart that will tell you what to buy. The main thing is, is really to look and listen. Visiting Brafa gives you a kind of guarantee of high quality because uh, uh, the galleries have to apply. Uh, there are high standards for selecting the galleries. And besides that, of course, there is the vetting. Uh, the vetting before the fair opens is quite a hard vetting for everyone. It's a moment of some light stress uh, because if some, peop some pieces are supposed not to be interesting enough, not good enough, uh, they can be withdrawn and taken out of the, of the fair until the last day. The collector, when he visits a fair, has an opportunity to see a big variety. He's uh, not bound to go from one address to the other. He finds everyone together in the same place. He might discover some things that he never thought of before. He will discover an exhibitor who brings a speciality uh, that he hardly knew well. And suddenly he discovers that it's quite interesting what this exhibitor brought. So he, make, he can make discoveries that he won't do in one, just one gallery. Brafa is a success, I think, because of the variety it, it suggests. It is also a success because it is new every year. It's the, the decor is renewed, so to say, every year, and people are surprised to see what's going to be next. Brafa has the luck to be located in Brussels, and there is a kind of reciprocity. Uh, you will see when you come and visit Brafa that at interest there is a Brafa guide and the Brafa guide will guide you not only through the fair but also through Brussels and even through Belgium. There is a, a, a lot to see and to do in Brussels and I think people from abroad do not necessarily come just for one day. They would like to spend some nice time in the city that they are visiting, uh, which I think is a, is a very good match. It's, it's very positive. It's a win-win situation for both.